Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about Episode 5 and the promo photos they just released for that episode, which is coming this week. Also, we're going to be talking about Episode 7. They just released a new synopsis. They've also released the Episode 7, 8, and 9 titles. So we got a lot to break down and go through in this video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So let's go over the photos first. So they released this for episode 5 titled Fear Me and this is next week's episode. We're going to see the introduction of the new villain named Psyche. He's not going to be a main villain. He's going to be showing up like at least two more times after this episode. And he is one of the Sage Force users. So he's going to be playing a pretty big part next episode. And I think Team Flash is going to start to realize what's happened. Because if you guys remember, only original Timeline Wells or Timeless Wells as people have been calling him. Knew about the lightning going up into the sky. Because if they knew about that, they would be questioning what the hell is happening. And like they would obviously know something else is going to come of that. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the episode 5 photos. So the first photo we have right here is of Barry, Caitlin, Iris, and also Cisco. They're in the cortex looking at whatever there is in the screen. You cut a little bit closer. You've got the three right here still looking at that screen. And you go to like various different angles. Cisco again looking at whatever is going on. Same with Caitlin. Same with Iris. And so it's just like multiple iterations of what is happening. So I don't know specifically what's going on. I'm suspecting they are seeing something to do with Psych. Maybe it's on like a news report. And then we go to this photo of Iris and Barry. And so they're talking and it seems like they're having a kind of heart to heart moment. Well, maybe more so serious than just like a heart to heart moment. But then you go over to, I believe this is still in Star Labs, but this is the same day because you can tell by Barry wearing the same clothes. And this is Cecile and she is freaking out right here and Barry is comforting her. And the reason why Cecile is freaking out is definitely because of Psyche. Psyche has very psychological powers, very similar to that of Cecile. If you guys saw my trailer breakdown the other day, if you didn't see it, go check it out right now. It's just a couple of days back. Because in that trailer, Psyche is able to control nightmares inside Barry and everyone's minds. Basically, to get inside their minds, and that is very similar to Cecile's powers. And so now Barry is in the medical bay, because you can see the background has a bunch of medical machines. And so Barry's here maybe someone has been injured and that's why they're there also you got Cecile in the same place so I'm presuming actually maybe when Cecile was freaking out this is inside the medical bay and so I don't know if they've got like a victim or someone that's been hurt and that is why they're in there but normally there is a reason as to why they would go there so yeah you get this photo of Cecile in the same room and so we get our first proper good look at Psyche obviously this is just a photo we've seen him in the trailers just before this but he's wrecked this place and this is an investment place so I'm not sure if he has anything against this specific company and why is he inside here but it seems like he is either drawing attention to him maybe to get to Barry or something but in the next photo you see him actually facing off against what I presume is Barry again it could be just security for this one place but I'm guessing this is Barry because if you look over to the next photo you got Barry, and this is definitely later in the episode because they've come prepared so they know what his powers are. So definitely Psyche's attack before this. Frost, Mecha Vibe, and Flash face off against Psyche and they have the devices on their head so they know what's going on and they're about to try and take him down. Then we move on to the next photo, we cut even closer, you see that Frost isn't in this. But it kind of looks like the same moment, so I'm gonna say Frost probably hasn't been attacked yet. However, we know according to the trailer, Psyche will get inside Frost's mind in this moment. And I presume this is like the second time they face him down. Cisco develops some tech, probably with Chester. And they're like, yes, this is a way to stop his nightmare powers from invading our minds. But then we move on to the final photo and you got Barry outside, probably facing him down once again. It's a really cool photo. He's about to run and use his speed force powers to take down the villain. But that's about it for the promo photos for episode 5. So that is coming this week. Obviously we're going to be reviewing it. So please be sure to stay tuned for when my review coverage comes out. Also let's go ahead and talk about the other things I want to talk about in this video. So we do have a synopsis for episode 7. We're going to go through that right now because we're going to be going over the title so the title is growing pains this is going to be airing on april 13th okay so frost must face her past when a mysterious ice-powered enemy 
frames Frost for a brutal crime she must find a way to clear her name. Meanwhile, Barry and Iris have a surprise house guest and Joe continues to deal with Kristen Kramer. Okay, so let's break this down. So Frost is facing her past and it does seem like they are leading towards a trial and we'll get to why in just a moment when we get to the other titles in just a moment. But anyway, so when a mysterious ice powered enemy frames Frost for a brutal crime, she must find a way to clear her name. So this ice enemy is in fact Chillblane. So we knew he was gonna be showing up for a couple of episodes. He was cast a while back, I think in like October or something. So that was like one of the first big pieces of information, but he's not gonna be like a major threat. He's only gonna be in for like two to three episodes max, I would say, unless they really want to bring him back. So he is the new ice powered enemy. So I'm wondering, does he have some sort of connection to Frost? Because why would he be framing Frost? Yes, he probably is aware of Frost because she's done some criminal activity around the city every once in a while. However, it's weird that, you know, he just comes out now and he's like, yes, I'm gonna frame Frost right now. So Frost is gonna have to be dealing with that. Obviously, we don't know what's gonna be happening with Caitlyn yet, but I'm presuming she is somewhat wrapped up in the story. And it says, meanwhile, Barry and Iris have a surprise house guest. So I'm not sure who this surprise house guest is, but Barry and Iris having house guests, I think is pretty cool because obviously they've only just been reunited together and they are open to welcoming people back into their lives. So it seems like maybe Iris is doing much better by this episode and that's very exciting to see. I don't have any guesses as to the surprise house guest. Maybe I know who it is, but I kind of forgot. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys know who the surprise house guest is. I'm really drawing a blank on this, but Joe continues to deal with Kristen Kramer. She is going to be this kind of threat for Joe inside the CCPD. So. I wouldn't put too much stock into that. I don't think that's going to be much of a story. That's only going to be there so they can give Joe something to do. Okay, so let's move on to the other titles. So yeah, episode 7 is titled Graham Pains. This is most definitely in regards to Frost and what is going on. So it seems like episode 7 and 8 are heavy on Frost because episode 8 is titled The People vs. Killer Frost. Now this is a very, very cool title because obviously this implies there is going to be a trial. There is going to be Frost inside a courtroom and the people are going to be speaking against her, saying that she is a criminal and potentially Frost might be going to prison or something. Like she may have to pay for what she's done in the past. And I've said this previously earlier this week, I think on the after party with Eric and Paigey. I'm pretty sure that Frost is probably going to go to prison or she's like being set up to be like shipped off somewhere else. And I think that's the main reason why they split up Caitlyn and Frost in last episode's ending. But nevertheless, I've also said this. I don't think the crimes she committed were all that bad. Like, I remember she worked with Savitar, but then she realized what she was doing was wrong. And then she previously worked for Amunet a little bit. I don't remember her committing any brutal crimes, like any actual murders or anything like that. So... I'm not 100% sure why this is being brought up if she is able to freely go around the city anyway. Like I know she is technically Killer Frost and she is technically a criminal, but really she hasn't been a criminal for a long time. And I don't think she was ever that much of a criminal. I think she was just lost and somehow got wound up in some of this stuff. So that's just my perspective. I find it a bit weird that they are, you know, bringing in this whole Frost is a criminal storyline. And obviously she's going to go to trial probably with the People vs. Killer Frost being the title. So uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Also, it must be noted that episode 7 and episode 8, there is going to be a three week gap between that. So that means April 13th is going to be episode 7's premiere date, that being Growing Pains of course. And episode 8 is going to be coming back three weeks later, that is the episode titled The People vs. Killer Frost on May 4th. I don't think there's any specific reason apart from them maybe having to catch up a little bit on filming. However, it's not like a huge break, like a three week break is normal and that's shorter than a mid season. So I would say this is a pretty good time to have a break because we kind of figured that they were going to have a break at some point. And I think episode seven like is a pretty good number. And then after this, after this three week break, when we come back with episode eight, we're going to go all the way through to episode 18. So that is very exciting, of course. However, let's move on to the final title in this video. This is episode 9, titled Timeless. 
Now this is the most exciting title because I've got some theories that come off of this. So everyone's been calling Wells Timeless Wells and I believe it was either Grant or Eric Wallace when they first premiered the episode where original Wells showed up. I believe they actually referred to Wells as Timeless Wells rather than original Harrison Wells like we were all calling him. So I think this means episode 9 we're going to be seeing the return of Timeless Wells. And why is he back? That is one of the key questions. So he is definitely probably back in this episode. We knew he was coming back at some point. Obviously we left him last where he was going back in time. He was going to be reliving the years where he was with his wife. I think it's obvious that he's going to come back because he's going to get bored if he just does that over and over again. That is just like a time loop. And now I'm wondering, does this play into the time loop episode that is coming up pretty soon where Cheska and Cisco are going to be stuck in a time loop in the 90s? And obviously Harrison Wells has been in this time loop in the 90s, living out his final few years with Tess. So I'm wondering, is he going to have anything to do with that episode and why they're stuck in a time loop? Or is it going to be like some sort of big villain? Well, I'm not 100% sure. But with Timeless Wells coming back in this episode called Timeless, obviously The Flash is known for its time travel stuff. I would say there is a high possibility that we're going to be seeing some time travel stuff very, very soon, probably in this episode and probably after this. So we have this episode and we have that time loop episode that is coming up. And also last episode, Abracadabra referenced that Barry in the near future is going to be obsessed with the future. And so he also dropped the name of a potential villain, that being Kronark. So I don't think Kronark's actually going to appear this season. However, I think Barry is going to very soon become obsessed with the future. So what happens if we're going to see more time travel stuff towards the end of the season? I think that's definitely a possibility, especially with them doing the Godspeed clone things. I've been really rooting towards the idea that whoever's been sending them has been sending them from the future. Rather than sending from like some part in Central City or around the world, I really like the idea that they were being sent back from the future. So what happens if we return to that story, which we 100% know is going to be happening this season because Eric Wallace confirmed that at DC Fandom, we're going to be seeing Godspeed or whoever was sending those Godspeed clones back. They're going to be like one half of the season's villains. So I'm thinking time travel is probably going to play into that somehow. And also with Timeless Wells coming back, are we going to get any references to the original timeline? Because this version of Wells is the original Wells, as we've been saying. And so are we going to be seeing some glimpses of what could have been? Like, are we going to go back to that timeline where Barry was a kid? And obviously in that original timeline, he was supposed to grow up and become the Flash. And he would get his powers in 2020 via this version of Harrison Wells. So this version of Wells is very important. And people have been theorizing about the original timeline Flash returning for years. And so I'm wondering, are we going to see any reference to him? Or is he literally going to show up at some point? Because I definitely think we're going to see him at some point. Because they keep on referring back to that. And that's why so many of us have been theorizing about him returning for a very long time. I think now more than ever, considering that they have this version of Wells around, they can definitely incorporate something to do with that. I don't know if it's going to happen like very soon, but there is a possibility that that could come to fruition in some way, even if it's just a reference towards the end of the season. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, this episode 9 stuff to do with the Timeless title is just me theorizing and going off on a kind of theory spree. But most of the other stuff we talked about in this video is based on facts and all the information that we know. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Get ready, The Flash is coming back this week with episode 5 titled Fear Me. That's what we went over first with the photos. Psych is going to be debuting, so be on the lookout for that. Also remember, Supergirl comes back this Tuesday after The Flash. We're going to be reviewing Supergirl and The Flash and doing trailer breakdowns for both shows. So please be sure to stay active because now is the time to stick around and check out the videos as soon as they come out because there's going to be a lot of videos for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.